We ran power to Rudiger's machine for the first time yesterday. It was nothing like what they predicted, even at half energy. I still have no idea what the end game for all of this will be. The whole project. And I'm seeing now that few of the men building it do either. It's all over their faces. All this time underground isn't helping their morale, but I'm confident our fragile truce will hold until we're finished. We worked hard to make it this far after what happened to Team 3. But afterwards? Impossible to say. Session 12, Project Medical Officer interviewing Patient 7. Back to the third instance. Find the bridge between them. Trying to. <laughs> okay. It starts the same as every other time. A dark room. Square. I feel the wall behind me, and I can barely make out the walls to the right and left. It's smooth, like steel or glass. I can't see the wall opposite me. It's too dim. I walk forward and that's when I notice it. Every time. The pit. Just... a, a hole in the floor. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny, the floor seems to slope a little bit as it reaches the edge. But the floor is made of bricks. Bricks that start to bend. Best I can tell. And the end? The last image you can remember? That's when it shows up. What shows up? Can you describe it? <laughs> From across the pit, where the other wall should be, something darker than everything around it, sort of floating. It moves to the edge of the hole. No face. <laughs> Just a moving shape. <laughs> a shadow. Is it me? My face? God damn it. Man, that's when I wake up. Every damn time.